the Hermetica, the lost wisdom of the pharaohs by Timothy Freak and Peter Gandy, read by me, Master Case. The Circle of Time, Chapter 6, The Circle of Time. In this chapter, Hermes explores the nature of time and change. Everything in the cosmos is constantly changing. Things are born, pass away, and come into existence again, like old plants dying each winter to return as new shoots each spring. All these changes, however, are governed by unchanging natural laws. In this way, therefore, it could also be said that the cosmos is essentially changeless. Time regulates the natural process of change in the cosmos. It is measured by the recurring cycles of the stars and the sun, which revolve in fixed and permanent orbits, unlike our modern picture of time as a straight line from the past to the future. Hermes sees time as a circle. We too actually measure time in circles, however. A day is a circle of time which begins again when the sun rises each morning. The year is a circle of time measured by the Earth's orbit around the sun. Faster circles of time are expressed by the movements of the constellation of the stars. All of these cycles eventually bring things back to where they started. It is impossible to say where that is, however, for a circle has no starting point. You cannot say where it begins and where it ends. Hermes ultimately points to a deeper understanding of time. The past is gone and does not exist. The future has yet to happen and does not exist. The present moment passes so quickly that it has no permanence. Before we have even said now, the moment has gone. We can never catch the present, so in that, so in what way could it be said to exist? The mystical insight into the illusory nature of time is a way to glimpse the oneness of God who exists beyond time. For God, there is no past, present, and future, only eternity. Freeing, freeing ourselves from the illusion of time is yet another way we can experience God. <clears throat> the Circle of Time In a sense, the cosmos is changeless because its motions are determined by unalterable laws which cause it to revolve eternally without beginning and end. Its parts manifest, disappear, and are created anew again and again in the undulating pulse of time. Through the process of time, life within the cosmos is regulated and maintained. Time renews all things in the cosmos by the circling process of change. Measured by the heavenly bodies, returning to their former positions as they revolve around the heavens. The present issues from the past and the future from the present. Everything is made one by this continuity. Time is like a circle where all the points are so linked that you cannot say where it begins or ends, for all points both precede and follow one another forever, yet there is an even deeper understanding. The past has departed and no longer is. The future has not arrived and is yet to be. Even the present does not last, so how can it be said to exist when it doesn't stay still for a moment. Chapter 6 Circle of Time